Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 10th, 2020. Hey, I want to apologize, everyone. This video will be just a touch later than normal. Um, got a little bit behind this morning, and so I do apologize for that. Um, but let's take a look at what we've got going here today for the Monday edition of the morning market prep video. Well, last week we finished the week strong, uh, full on rally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight days up in the Dow. We also saw the same kind of seven day rally in the S&P 500. So we've got bulls um, remaining in control and very, very strong. However, once we, now that I've said that, we also have to be on our toes and watch for that possibility that profit taking could come in at any time. However, there are reasons to remain bullish this morning, as you've probably seen in the news. The president with the stroke of a pen kept the stimulus money flowing. Um, after Congress failed to finish a deal last week. And so we have recovered off of overnight lows and looking to push on higher this morning with some modest, um, modest futures bullishness um, this morning. So let's watch that closely. We also have um, kind of a light day on the economic calendar, well, I shouldn't say kind of a light day, really pretty extremely light with the jobs opening report this morning at 10 a.m. But um, everything else is um, going to be focused on earnings reports and probably political spin today. So looks like we have kind of a clear plat path for the bulls to continue pushing higher should they decide to do that. And I think it seems unlikely to think that getting within 1% of the S&P 500 record, that institutions won't push for that and see that happening before we might see a wave of, you know, just normal profit taking after so many days up. So let's take a look here. If we look at the technicals here in uh, the diamonds chart, notice that we have um, all kinds of reasons to remain bullishness in the chart. There is um, also some good news here. Last week, we broke the downtrend, as you can see here in the diamonds, holding us up. And if we take a look at the moving averages, our 50 day moving average has crossed up through the 200. One thing I do want to point out that somewhat, um, uh, well, could be somewhat nerve wracking, I guess, if profit taking does come in. Um, notice that it's not unreasonable to think at some point in time we will come back and, and touch that 50 day moving average. Just know that if we were to uh, pull back all the way there uh, today, that is a big move of 1200 points back down to that 50 day moving average. So kind of a rough thing to occur if that would happen. But so far, there's no signs in the market that we are anywhere close to that um, occurring other than seven straight days up oftentimes brings in that possibility of profit taking that we have to really stay on our toes for. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, bullish, bullish, all kinds of bullish. As you can see, pushing up, we are only like 1.1% from reaching a new record high in the SPY. It would seem very, very unlikely to me that the institutions will miss out on that opportunity to grab that headline and draw as much money into the market as they can. So I would expect that before we see any um, strong wave of selling, we will, or st strong wave of profit taking, we will see those institutions pull out the stops on everything possible to reach up here and grab that new headline. So watch for that closely. If we look at those moving averages in here, there's nothing in here but bullishness right now in the chart. No evidence of any selling whatsoever. It's just buy all the time and continue pushing. And I suspect we'll see that new record high in the S&P. P500, if not today, um, within the next, uh, well, within this week, I suspect um, we'll, we 
we'll likely see that. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ has been extremely strong, um, but obviously running into a little bit of a problem on Friday. We saw a little bit of selling and they weren't able to pick that up by the end of the day. And we can also see just a little bit of uh, uncertainty this morning here in the NASDAQ. And what I think might be occurring here is a little bit of a rotation. We may be finally seeing that exhaustion level coming into play here in the NASDAQ. Those big techs just have pushed and pushed and pushed relentlessly. Um, 30 plus new records this year um, in the uh, NASDAQ. And so a little bit of selling would not be out of the question, but let's keep in mind if we were to look across here, we have a support level that we're at least holding on to at least now, but maybe um, this rest comes in here as just a consolidation. And that is certainly possible. We could slip this sideways and consolidate. Doesn't necessarily mean we have to have a major sell-off. But if we do see the NASDAQ sell-off, what you want might want to be looking for is some of those defensive sector area stocks that seem to be gaining some ground right now is I think that we might be witnessing a bit of a rotation out of some of the big techs over to to more dividend payers and um, we may stay there for the rest of the year and just see this tail off just slightly let's take a look at um, IWM IWM very very strong the small caps seem to really be picking up energy here and it may be a good place to be watching for now I I don't like chasing anything in the market and seeing us up this many days in a row, I would like to see some kind of a rest or pullback in this before I would be jumping into an IWM trade. That doesn't mean I wouldn't want to reach out for some small cap stocks, but keep an eye on this. Any kind of rest or pullback here in IWM would suggest an opportunity possibly to pick up some positions in here. And if we can continue to see those financials, financials surged on Friday, we had oil stocks surging a little bit on Friday. If that continues, um, we might want to keep an eye on that for that move on higher. Let's take a look at um, the VIX here. Now the VIX is finally starting to, well on Friday saw just a little bit of pullback. We didn't break down through that 500 day moving average yet. But one thing is clear, the VIX continues this slide. There's very little fear here in the market. And that seems funny to say when we're up here around, um, uh, still above a 20 handle in the VIX. But we seem to be um, relentlessly pulling back toward this next level of support here in the chart. If we could break that down, be really nice for us option traders out there to finally see that VIX pulling back and, and cheapen up those options a bit. But right now, uh, nothing um, in here showing particular fear. And with the bulls pushing this morning, stimulus money once again flowing, um, I suspect um, this could continue to just kind of slowly trickle um, lower, assuming we don't get a whole bunch of political spin or something like that to fire up some uncertainty. Let's take a look at T2122. Now this ind indicator would be the reason I would be watching for that potential of a pullback at any time, profit taking to come in at any time. And as you can see, we are pushed up here at the high and the Dow is expected to gap up around 100 points this morning. So we'll probably be pegging up in here pretty high. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna see um, an immediate selling wave come in to the market we could like i say it seems unlikely to me institutions aren't going to push for that s p 500 record but just keep in mind so many days up in a row it wouldn't be out of the question to see some profit taking coming in at any time in that little bit of a selling wave to come in sometime maybe later this week. We can stay up here, we can bounce around up in here for a while, so just keep that in mind. We don't necessarily have to pull right back, but it is that warning that we have to stay on our toes as traders that profit taking could begin 
any time, so watch that close. If we take a look at T2101, kind of interesting here, T2101, we saw that bit of wave of selling on Monday, or on Friday, and that seemed to pick up the overall market breadth. And as you can see, we picked up pretty strongly. Now, also helping in this was the buying going on in the financial sector and um, some other sectors of the market. Utilities and real estate were picking up pretty strongly on Friday, suggesting a bit of a rotation from the tech sector over to some other areas for that dividend yield. Let's notice that as we rally, we could be rallying right into a price resistance level here in T2101. So keep a close eye on that. Certainly not going to suggest that we're just going to rip right through without um, another test, but we'll want to watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And as I mentioned before, our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it to really fire us up today. We've got our jobs opening report at 10 a.m. Eastern. But let's notice that throughout the week, we have a pretty busy week, PPI, CPI, um, Obviously, jobs claims numbers um, continues to be a big deal. And we have um, retail sales and industrial production over here on Friday. So we've got a busy economic calendar week, but um, not much going on today to really move us around significantly. Um, we also want to make note that earnings, our earnings calendar is beginning to wind down the, th the third quarter earnings. We have a big day today with more than 200 companies reporting. And then we start to slowly um, diminish on the number of earnings um, over the next couple of weeks as third quarter winds down. So we'll run out of those earning stimulus points that really fire the market up and provide that volatility. Maybe that creates a, a little bit of market slowdown or, or, or maybe that profit taking that comes in. I don't know, just watch that as we continue to diminish down on these earnings reports. Now, notable reports today, there are still quite a few reports that we'll want to keep an eye on. Um, um, Angie's List, um, they will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, Barry Gold is reporting and looks like um, Barry Gold is gapping up. Now that might be just a function of the new money, money printing that the president signed off on um, this weekend. Uh, pushing that up because gold futures are pushing higher this morning. I can't say that's the earnings report on Barrick, so keep an eye on that. Um, quite a few companies um, reporting, but I just there's not enough time for me to go through all of them. However, we might want to keep an eye on JCOM. JCOM um, is reporting today. We have um, on semiconductor reporting. It'll be interesting to see RCL, uh, Royal Caribbean C Cruise, is reporting today. Seas, um, that'll be another interesting um, report today as SeaWorld reporting, and you can see gapping just a little tiny bit lower. Obviously, those entertainment sectors um, struggling quite a bit. And then on the cannabis front, we have um, CGC. It's going to report today. It looks like it's gapping up. Um, slightly this morning and also TLRY in that cannabis area reporting so we'll want to keep an eye on cannabis today so with that everyone hey how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for potential trades but before we do that if you guys could just do me a quick favor if you could look there on youtube and see that big old subscribe button and click on that i would truly truly appreciate it um, and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that it you will be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you feel that these videos have been worthy or are worthy of um, 
Uh, but please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. And I truly want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You know, um, these videos I know don't provide, and, and, and it's by design. I don't do any of the hype. I don't do any of the prediction. I look at the technicals, try to determine how we want to approach the market for today or how I want to approach the market for today. And if you find that to be helpful, please um, continue to support the channel. I just say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Let's take a look at a few stocks setting up. And also I want to remind you that every time I go through one of these stocks, it's just part of the education I provide. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence for every potential trade and watch um, um, watch closely the price action in these charts, making sure that these trades actually fit you. Let's take a look at a few things that are kind of interesting. Uh, take a look at Corning. GLW. As you can see, I placed an alert on this list um, uh, in my list here for Friday and last Friday, and I was looking at this as a potential trade. Just decided to wait uh, for this week, but Corning doing very well, and you can see you know, with um, smartphone devices, well, all of the tech devices that are being bought up right now, uh, Corning would be doing quite well. So keep an eye on that. This is one of those defensive sector type stocks that kind of that old boring company with a good dividend yield that may be the place where we could see some rotation into. So keep a close eye on that. Might want to keep an eye on Masco. Masco had a really good move here on Friday. You can see break higher in this chart it's been running in a nice trend building has been very very strong and watch this in here it was trying to perk up on Friday and push on through Masco might be one to keep an eye on I picked up a position in FCX um, just this is just kind of that resting consolidation pullback and as you guys know I've been watching this and um, seeing FCX maybe popping up a little bit this morning this is actually a potential entry place into the trade pushing up through this support getting a little bit of rest and pull back and then if those buyers are going to push up in here we could see that move higher keep in mind this is really just moving along with um, gold which is surging again this morning after its pullback. I'm not, excuse me, GLD surging this morning um, back up a little bit higher. Um, gold futures are pointing to a bullish open with gold futures up $16.9 per ounce um, at this very moment. So watch that close. And of course, silver also, we have to pay attention to that. Um, as it continues to surge higher and silver also indicating a little bit of a bump up this morning so keep an eye on that you might also want to keep an eye on mcdonald's now i made some money on mcdonald's last week um, entering a trade making a nice profit deciding to take that profit and i'm going to watch this level up here after breaking through this price resistance in this chart i'll be looking for a new entry if this gets a little bit of rest or consolidation i may be looking for that next opportunity to pick up some cash here in MCD. Um, watch that close. We're also going to want to keep a close eye on stocks like Shopify. Shopify holding in a nice little consolidation area here uh, after breaking through resistance. If that can find those buyers, that could push right on up into the chart. Um, stocks like Best Buy continuing to extend out and stocks like Lowe's and Home Depot continue their rise to the upside um, and it kind of makes sense with all of the home selling and things going on in there we will also want to keep an eye on uh, FedEx FedEx had a incredible day on Friday perking up strong and you can see it's gapping up this morning now I wouldn't suggest you'd want to chase this but any kind of rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity in FCX and also take a look at the the, the conservative side of the market here notice that XLU energies had a I mean not XLU utilities had a big um, surge on Friday pushing up and looks like it might extend that just slightly this morning. So watch that uh, today and utilities seem to be gaining some ground and that might 
lend a little bit more of that idea that we could be seeing a rotation into more safe plays um, as tech kind of slows down here just a little bit in its um, in its rally. So watch that close. Other places, you know, there's stocks all over the place like Restoration Hardware continuing to zoom higher. Best Buy uh, breaking through, moving higher. NVIDIA caught a little bit of pullback um, on the end of Friday here. Just a little bit of rest up here, but notice we've broken through this resistance as we rest across over here, that opportunity to move on higher certainly is showing in that chart there's no shortage of stocks setting up bullish patterns so keep a close eye on that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic money i want to wish you great profits thanks to everyone who take took the time to click that subscribe button and to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment i truly truly appreciate it i want to wish you all a great day of trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.